results showed that when the human controlled the robot, the human in the other cabin controlled the robot, we could actually, participants could actually discriminate that it, the robot was controlled by a human. In the robot condition, the computer programmed uh, condition, people were uncertain whether the robot was actually controlled by a human or was um, pre-programmed. And now this shows altogether that there is a sensitivity in our brain to detect very subtle hints of humanness in the robot behavior. The research question uh, that is behind this study has intrigued me for many, many years. Um, namely, the question is, what makes us humans? What is it in human behavior that we are perceived by other humans as humans? What we want to examine is what sort of impact does that have for social attunement with a machine. So if we um, design robots with these kind of very subtle behaviors that remind us of other human, uh, whether that will make us humans interact with the robot better, more smooth, coordinate with the robot better. And this is something that's extremely important for the area of social robotics in general, where robots are supposed to interact with us in, on a daily basis. Social robots like me can help take care of the sick or elderly in many kinds of healthcare and medical uses. I can help communicate, give therapy, and provide social stimulation even in difficult situations. 